Hello Aquarius, thank you for tuning into this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Tarot Illuminati by Eric C. Dunn. For the support of Oracle Cards, Chakra Wisdom Oracle Cards by Tori Hartman, illustrated by Gretchen. There's Gretchen's last name. That way, if you'd like to find any of those artists or their stuff, you can easily do that. Aquarius, every single one of these started out with two cards, which, you know, I don't know. They just come out like that. I don't know. I know that might sound a little bit ridiculous because they're in my hands, but they just seem to happen like that. It's What do you got going on here, Aquarius? Let's find out. Now, I know I'm complaining about the two-card thing, but you have two good cards. You have growth and enlightenment, bringing you right into this situation. Right off the bat, you have growth and enlightenment, which to me, you've seen a better way to do things. And you might have kind of poked the bear to get this, is what I'm getting. It's one of those things where you might have had to kind of like mess with people a little bit. I don't know what to say about that. Like you might have had to say things a little off color, off base to find out what somebody really thinks. And you gained some truthful information because of it. With that information, you are moving forward. Um, but you're not only enlightened to that new information, you're also breeding it to the next level. Breeding it to the next level? What's that mean? Like you're taking other things and adding it and adding things into it and you're creating something new from it. Now, that's what's pulling you forward to this next situation. You got, but with this information, it's like you've already gained information from somebody else. So that person I feel like is integral to this situation. Whoever that person is that you pulled that information out of. Because you got renewal and you've got completion with the Empress. Empress is right on top like that which is telling me somebody needs to take responsibility for something they did. And I feel like you're calling them out and you're telling them, hey, you're the one that left the kitchen a mess, so you need to go in there and clean it up. Um, there's other things here that you're dealing with too. You're, you know something else that they did wrong. And you're having this honest talk with them. And it's one of those things where you're saying, you know what? You may be avoiding this issue, but this is something else you created. You need to go and fix that too. And this is how I think you can do it. You're not just leaving them off on their own. You seem to be talking through things with them, kind of like, I see this and I see that. I see that this is something you're avoiding. There's a lot of intense conversations going here. And you're not letting this move forward until they handle it. And you're like, and I'm not going to let this go until you do it. Impasse followed by the Three of Wands is telling me you're not letting them you're not gonna let them off the hook. You're not gonna move on from this situation until they deal with it. And you're letting them know that. I'm not backing off until you deal with it, until you handle this the way you need to handle this. Because it's not just your problem, it's breeding off other problems here that I have to deal with and other people have to deal with, and that's not right. You need to handle that. You're giving somebody an idea of how to do things and what they gotta clean up instinct is playing a very big part here which makes me a little nervous to tell you the truth um because i feel like it may be two steps forward one step back two step forward one step back two step forward one step back um it's going to be a messy cleanup it's almost like cleaning up the kitchen and then they get like halfway through and then they make brownies and then they have to start cleaning up that and they're almost done and then they make dinner then they gotta clean up all that, and then they start making a snack, and then they finally clean up that and everything else, and by the end of the day, it's finally cleaned, but it's kinda like, it took, <laughs> it literally takes this person all day. It's almost like they made breakfast, they left it there till, like, after lunch. Like, they made breakfast, then they had lunch, and it was still there, started cleaning it up at like four o'clock, and just kept cleaning until like 10 o'clock at night, because they would, make food, eat food, make more dishes. They just kept making more of a mess before they were finished cleaning. And it just took all night. All night, yeah. It does get done though, but it's just kind of like two steps forward, one step back, two steps forward, one step back. It's just kind of like, really? Can't you just finish one thing before you go into the next? No, gotta, gotta do it this way. Um, but I also feel like they're cleaning it up on their own because of the way they think. This two step forward, one step back, I don't feel you really into that. 
So if that's what they're going to do, that's their thing. You just wait for them to finish, and when they're finished, great. And once they're done, you'll let them. You'll let you'll let it go, and you do. You're like, yeah. Once it's done, I'll let it go. But it's kind of like you're also keeping an eye out. Like, don't do that again. You also made the point, like with with like you know, next time you make breakfast, clean up after breakfast. You know, clean up the dishes. If you're going to make it, either have somebody there to clean it up or clean it up yourself. <clears throat> don't just walk away expecting somebody else to do it. If it's not done. You know, make sure it gets done. That's what I should say. Make sure it gets done. If somebody else doesn't do it, make sure you do it. One of those things. And the isolation card here is telling me that it's on them to do that. I do feel like this has worked out at this point. Now, you're very happy with this outcome, but you're also kind of like watching other things. Now, when this person gets up to speed, it feels like you're much happier with them, much happier but you're also kind of keeping the pressure on them with the strength card. Kind of like, listen, I got my eye on you. I see you. If you're going to be in that kitchen, I am going to be watching to make sure you do it the way you're supposed to. Do what you got to do, but don't leave it a mess. Even if somebody else is supposed to clean it, either make sure they do or clean it yourself. One of the two. And I feel like you're giving them that out. Like, all right, yeah, you're making it, so somebody else should clean it up. But you have to make sure that that other person who is supposed to do it does it. And if they don't do it, you need to do it. You can't just leave it there a mess. I'm not going to allow that. Okay. A lot of pressure on that part. Now, I'm getting this weird energy, kind of like, you know, somebody feels like they're doing everything. And they got the vanity here. Um... They got the vanity going on here, which makes me feel like it's, again, if we're going to use the cooking analogy with the kitchen, it's kind of like um, I don't understand why I have to get up, prepare everything, make everything, get everything out there, and then I also have to clean up afterwards. I don't think that's fair. I don't think I should have to do everything. And then I feel you kind of like going coming into this kind of like I'm not saying it's fair. What I'm saying is, if you're going to do all this stuff, you need to set it up beforehand. Somebody else has to agree, like, set your thing up beforehand. If you're going to do all the cooking, get somebody to agree to set the table. Get a couple people to agree to clean up after. Um, if you can't get people to do that, maybe you should leave them to, to create their own meal. Maybe you should... <clears throat> just do do the minimal, you know, make them get their own dishes, you know, and then just make minimal stuff so there's not a lot of dishes to be there. I feel like you're kind of like trying to negotiate this out, kind of like, listen, we can't leave a mess. This isn't going to be a good excuse to have a mess, especially if I'm not even there. Because it's one of those things where, like, you're not a part of the situation. You're just seeing the aftermath. Kind of like you need to police the, your own thing. You just can't leave a mess there. You have to at least put pressure on people to clean it up for you, or you got to do it yourself. And that's what you're pushing on them. Like, listen, you you got to be responsible for the whole situation. Get other people to play their their necessary part, and you have to make sure they pet you. They take care of that. Them, you're telling them they have to do that. <coughs> it takes a lot. It does take a lot. Um, but you seem to really impress upon them that, you know, I'm not saying you have you should be doing everything. I'm not saying that's fair. I'm saying, though, that you have to plan it and make sure the right people are there to do their parts and keep on them to do their parts. That's what I'm saying. And it keeps going back and forth for a while. But the wisdom comes forward with the Queen of Wands. This new way of doing things seems to finally come out, and you finally get them to do that that way. Kind of like, I understand you shouldn't have to do everything, but it is up to you to plan it to get the right people in place to make sure that it's taken care of, though. Or just don't do it. <laughs> Maybe just don't have it. Just don't even do it. Don't even cook breakfast. And I feel like they're like, oh, we got to have breakfast. Like, oh, I can see that happening. I don't know why, but then all of a sudden it was like, oh, no, we got to do it. Now, um, you're going to have to keep on this situation to some respect. Keep in touch with this person keep online with them because they seem to keep faltering. It may be a downfall for this person to get other people to do what they're supposed to do. It may be very hard for them. 
it may be the reason that they end up cleaning things up themselves or leaving stuff there is because they just have a hard time pushing other people or convincing other people to do what they should. So you're going to have to keep an eye on the situation going forward. If you don't, it'll go back to where it was. That's what I'm getting. On your side, I feel like it's not really that bad because you get the outcome you want with the Soul Mate card. You do get the outcome you want by keeping up with it. You have to persevere with it. Literally, again, with it, the, the Knight of Pentacles talks about holding on and watching and keeping a diligent effort. The Persevere is telling you to persevere through it. you got to keep on it. you got to persevere. you got to keep going. you got to keep going. You will get that outcome you want. The last card I'm getting is the Five of Swords. Every now and then, you're going to wonder if it's even worth it. You're going to be like, do I even need to keep an eye on this? Yes, you do. If you stop walking, if you stop watching, it'll. You can watch it fall apart again and rebuild it if you want. It's kind of like you're you're watching your house of cards, and you're just blocking people from knocking it over. If you stop watching it, sooner or later somebody will knock it over, and you're going to have to rebuild it yourself anyway. Do you really want to do that? Are we good? Good. All right. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.